Camage is actually offering him. And um, that's what we're here today is just to see how he's progressing. He's a good friend of mine and, you know, I'm glad to see that he actually took time to go out and um, deal with his issues. Like most men, they don't go out and deal with the issues, but yet he's taking control of his life. So we're here today to just discuss how he went about first getting the courage to do that and then what Cam H offered him and where he is now. Okay, this is my good friend Stuart. Tell me a little bit about you. What's going on with you? Well, I've had uh, professional issues on and off for most of my life. Mm -hmm. And uh, as of late, have, I haven't been dealing with them very well at all. Mm -hmm. I didn't seek any medication. I didn't seek any psychiatric help. So I decided to go get some help. And I now have some counselors at the CAMH, and they put me on some meds, mm -hmm. which it's too early to tell how well they're doing, but I feel a little change already. Mm -hmm. And they're counseling me, so it's a, it's a work in process. All right. Progress, pardon me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel very positive. Mm -hmm. I feel very positive about, uh, about the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, to know that there's help out there that's available it makes the world a difference because it's a very positive thing to do for yourself. And it takes time and effort, but I feel that it's a good, really good step to, to take. When did you know you had an issue? And what was the actual issue that um, made you want to go to Cambridge? What, what was the actual issue? What, Just when did you first know you had a problem? I'm not sure how far back, but I've known for years that I've had depression in my life. And I need to. I needed to take control over it. So I'm now mm -hmm. hoping for a day when I'm beyond that and uh, can lead a better quality life. And I encourage people to do that because it's uh, it's much it's much healthier, it's much mm -hmm. way more healthy to be leading that kind of a life. I see. I know sometimes it takes a lot of courage for people in general to take control of their lives and decide what, that they need help. Um, I'm yeah. glad that you actually stepped up to the plate to actually do that. A lot of people don't have courage to do that. Um, I was, me, myself, I was lucky. I was always encouraged to go to the hospital if something's wrong with you from my parents. Always encourage if you want something, ask for it. Otherwise, I don't know that you need help or you want something. You have to ask for what you want, people. And men in general, they get sick, all kinds of things, and they never ask for help. So I'm really glad that you stepped up to the plate to get some help for what is going on with you. You know, a lot of people don't know I had a stroke a year ago. And I had been really, I had been keeping it quiet for a lot of you out there that you didn't know. And I, it took me a long time to recover. I lost a lot of weight. I was scared. I was on life support for two weeks. And they thought I was going to die. But I'm here. And my mother used to always say, if you're alive, you're here for a reason. So maybe th this is my second chance. And I'm taking full opportunity to just do what I do, live healthier be less stressed about money because that's what brought all this on me wanting to be rich and famous and I gotta realize it's just take one day at a time so the doctors have helped me get my um, my weight in check now I put on some weight so I'm not I'm not as nervous now I'm not as skinny as I was so, you know when men start losing weight you're either dying or you're getting diabetes <laughs> Well, anyway, um, but the, 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 the mere fact that you take charge of your life is very, very important. And I'm glad to see that I took charge of my life to get better, healthier. And then down the road, I can proceed with my career in the direction that I wanted to go in. And hopefully, the positive results that I'm seeking will come from that. Now, Stuart, in turn, um, is now on a new medication, and you're trying to... Um, understand, did, did the doctor explain to you what that medication will actually do? 
um, I guess, pull me up and out of, of being so depressed. Mm -hmm. Give me that head, head start to show me that there is a positive light mm -hmm. and to be patient with it and to, to know that you, you can get there if you give yourself a chance. Mm -hmm. So, um, what, how, I mean, what, what does your family think about this? Does your mom, your dad, the brother, your sister, they understand what's going on with you? How, like, like, do you have a support system besides the community center itself? Uh, I do. I have some good friends, mm -hmm. really good friends. Um, unfortunately, I only have one sibling left, mm -hmm. my brother okay. and my sister-in-law. Um, but I, but they understand, mm -hmm. which is good. But the, the the positive aspects of this, what do you think would will actually come from all of this? What are you hoping that will come from all of this? I mean, I'm hoping that you get well now that you're getting the help that you need from CAMH and your support system and your the outreach workers have been very um, informative with helping you with information that can guide you to certain services and programs that you need. So what is it that you want to come out of this at the end of the day? I want to be able to uh, get back to functioning in life, getting back to doing the things that I love to do mm -hmm. and enjoying them and, and uh, having the energy to get through and to make decisions and achieve goals and just leading a empowering life. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's really amazing what you just said. Empowering. You know, I'm not throwing names out there, but I always watch Oprah Winfrey's Super Soul Sundays. She always talks about empowering. It's a very amazing thing. And um, my doctor said the same thing. When I thought I was going to die, he came to see me every day and sat next to my bed. And he said to me, I'm glad you're alive. He says, because you actually took the chance now that you're awake and talking, you took the chance to tell me all about your life. And at the end of the day, you took charge of your life because you, in your mind, you had positive thoughts about living and surviving. And for me coming in here, seeing you every day and talking to you every day, he said, I, I went home with that on my mind. The fact that you were questioning me question after question after question. He said, a lot of patients don't do that. And he said, men need to learn how to start taking control of their lives, asking questions and taking chances and taking opportunities of these programs that are out, um, put out there for them. And this will help a lot of them. He says, you know, the fact that um, you have opened up to me, you, you are honest, these things go a long way in life. Um, and the fact that you are here and I'm here, and hopefully we're gonna empower some other men out there to get up off their asses, get to the doctor, go see somebody. If you need to talk to somebody about what's going on with you, don't be ashamed, don't be shy, don't be embarrassed. Just go out there and just do it. Because at the end of the day, it's all about you. When you're dead and gone, people don't care. They remember you, but they don't care. But you have to make sure that people around you understand what's going on with you so you can get the help that you need. And I'm glad, Stuart, today that you were on this on my show, and um, and you got the help that you needed, and you're going in the right direction. I know it. it sometimes it takes a little time to get where you want to go, but at the end of the day, you tried to get the help that you needed. CAMH reached out to you, and you reached out to them, and now you're both on the same page, and hopefully down the road, you'll get the help, and you also get the results that you're looking for. Thank you, my friend, for coming on Stephanie's team today here at the community, Regent Park Community Center. I'm Stephanie Stevens, and this is my friend Stuart. And thank you guys so much for watching. Um, my upcoming episode is about Pride Toronto. We're going to have a good one this year. But we're now, this is Stephanie Steen. Thank you, my friends. Thank you. Pleasure being on your show. You're welcome.